PVM makes your wife want to leave you. Kate, 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 come look. I just hit 452 kill count at the Tombs of a Masker. I don't care. The game's boring and I'm leaving you. And skilling? Skilling makes your kids think you're fucking boring. No, 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 no. Look, look, I'll explain it again. If you click the herb and then the tar and then the fishing spot, all within 1.8 seconds, then you can increase your XP per hour by upwards of 60%. Daddy, this is rubbish. But getting pets? Pets feel like this. Yes! 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 We got the fuck! <laughs> this is one pet at a time. The Extreme Edition. On the last time of Extreme One Pair Time, we got the Rocky pet, and we are currently left undecided over what pet we are going to go for next. So before we get on with the episode proper, um, we've had quite a lot of debate in the comments section about whether free-to-play is breaking the rules or not. So I thought it worth going over what our one very simple rule is. Once a pet roll has taken place, whether that's a skilling pet or a bossing pet, no other activity that can possibly yield a pet can be undertaken until the first pet has been achieved. With that being said, free to play is fair game. That is our one rule. Farming is our only exception and free to play does not roll a pet. I'm extremely limited in terms of what I can actually do that's useful to me in free to play. Yes, I can get unlimited trout and salmon and lobsters if I really want to, um, but I can't do any real kind of tick manipulation or anything like that, so it's useless to me. Um, the only thing that's of any use is getting quest requirements, i.e. 70 mining from Song of the Elves, um, which is easy to do anyway in members, it just will take five times longer. Um, so bearing in mind our only rule of the series is as is outlined on screen right now, training and free to play does not impact it. And uh, the comment that you see on screen at the moment really kind of reflects my view on what the one pet at a time account is. Um, and that's different to one skill at a time. It's different to any of the other uh, series that you may have watched. Um, I'm not locked to a skill. I'm just locked to a pet. And if I'm not unlocking a pet, finding clever, um, finding clever ways around uh, that, finding clever ways to train skills that we haven't got the pets for yet, is exactly what this series is about. It's about finding the loopholes, about abusing them to the maximum. Um, uh, while still remaining true to the uh, to the format. So yeah, having said that, let's get on with the episode. Right, starting this episode off with Slayer. I feel like it's time to act actively start doing some Slayer. Um, luckily, because I trained at uh, Ammonite Crabs quite a lot, I have the combat level to use Konar straight away. So, 146 trolls in the troll stronghold. That's not too bad, is it? Because I can, I think I can do those on Death Plateau. Um, 146. That would be so much XP, considering I'm starting at level 25. Right, let's get on with that then, I guess. Okay, turns out you cannot kill them on Death Plateau, which is a bit of an L. Uh, how do, I, how can I get up there? I really don't want to have to like run all the way around Death Plateau to get there, so I feel like I need to unlock either this telly or the Gommel's Hilt teleport. I think that shouldn't actually be too bad, to be honest. Um, what do I actually need to get the combat task? So I need eight more points, which is hardly anything. Um, but I think there's some stuff I can do, like... Uh, Open the Barrow's chest, kill any Barrow's brother, kill a black dragon. Oh, I can't do the blood, oh, I can't do those ones. I can do the Briar Fighter ones though, I think. Uh, the medium ones shouldn't be too bad either. Uh, okay, uh, there should be some stuff on here I can do. I think this might be the best way. Um, I think the rewards for the easy one is a teleport, isn't it? 
yeah, three Trollheim teleports per day. So I think that might be the way to do it. I'm just going to have to kind of do some theory crafting on what I'm actually going to do to unlock the uh, easy rewards. Okay, we totally actually bottled the uh, easy combat achievements, but I'm doing uh, Edgar's Ruse. Did you know this quest gives 11,000 Herblore XP? That seems absolutely bonkers for me, uh, to me. But that uh, unlocks us the Trollheim teleport, and we will be able to use that to get up to the trolls easily now and in future, which is very nice indeed. Oh, there is the first of a many Slayer levels we're about to get, and a Ranar seed. That's nice. Um, but yeah, we're gonna get a lot of a lot of Slayer levels this task. Um, we can't actually train Slayer very high though. Um, so last episode I discussed how Cabin Fever requires Zoga Flesh Eaters um, and a Brimstone Key. What the fuck is this luck while I'm recording? Um, requires Zoga Flesh Eaters. Uh, which basically, long story short, requires us to unlock woodcutting and the beaver pet. Uh, so, well, we don't have to get the beaver pet, we just have to start woodcutting and commit to that grind of getting the beaver pet. Um, so, yeah, and if we can't do cabin fever, we can't get a black mask, and I don't really fancy doing, like, loads of Slayer without a black mask. So, really, we're sort of beaver locked. Um, I'm thinking that the, well... This is before I've released that uh, the most recent video, or the video before this one. Um, and where that's where I've uh, announced the memberships to the channel, and that the members can pick the next pet. Um, so, there's no members at the moment, so no one's picked a pet. Um, so, currently, I'm in a bit of limbo, waiting for somebody to... Uh, some members to subscribe, hopefully. Be a bit embarrassing if we've got zero subscribers. Uh, not subscribers, what are they called? Members. If I've got zero people become a member, um, that would be a bit embarrassing. Um, but if they do subscribe, uh, then they pick a pet. I'm hoping they pick the woodcutting pet, the beaver, because I will unlock so, 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 so much from that. And as if I just got another Ranar seed. That's nuts. Um, but yeah. Uh, we're kind of in a bit of limbo, but we're going to train Slayer for the meantime, but we're going to stop at about 58 when we unlock the Black Mask, because I actually do want that before carrying on loads of other Slayer. Okay, here is our first, our final kill of our first Slayer task. 13,000 XP, two Brimstone Keys, three Ranar Seeds, that's pretty crazy, and we got up to 34 Slayer, so about, I don't know, how many, when did I start? 25, nine Slayer levels in one go. Uh, so that's pretty cool. Uh, time to get another task. And I think I might open our Brimstone Keys because I don't actually know what's in a Brimstone Key. I've never really did it on my main iron. I think I probably have opened like 10 keys ever. Um, so that would be quite fun. And at this kind of level, the Brimstone Keys are probably actually quite good. Okay, so we got a new task which was Hellhounds in the Witchhaven Dungeon. I don't know what the Witchhaven Dungeon is and I've got about three years of gameplay on this game. Uh, but let's see what we get from the uh, brimstone chest. 5,000 pure essence. Interesting, can't use that. And 481 iron. That is actually slightly useful uh, for making steel bars and stuff. Um, okay, right, let's crack on. Absolutely a massive level coming in. 82 farming, which may not unlock anything itself. However, what it does unlock is the ability to... In fact, can I protect these teak trees with their uh, limpwurts or something? I think that's right, isn't it? I can, yeah, I might do that because I've actually got a lot of limpwurts now. Um, so, yeah, what that unlocks for me is the ability to use a plus three boost from a garden pie to get into the uh, high uh, level bit of, uh, the gar of the farming guild, which is pretty big. Um, because what that gets for us um, is access to a lot of um, a lot of better contracts, um, which means that we'll get a lot more herb seeds, which means our herb law training can accelerate at a rate of knots. Um, so yeah, that is pretty cool. Right, here we go, making our first jaunt into the. Uh, into the high level area of the farming guild. Let's go! Oh, it's a good day. It's a good day indeed. Uh, I should be able to plant a Celestris tree as well, I guess. Um, 
and another fruit tree over there. That's interesting. But firstly, we're going to do the spirit seed uh, with our one with our, with some of our very limited amount of uh, of uh, ultra compost. Um, but there we go, and we'll get a uh, we'll get a palm sapling going as well, just for contracts um, and such, because I'm going to be getting high level contracts from now on. Um, and I should probably get a Celastrus tree planted as well. Yeah, I'll do that as well. And there is our first Celastrus tree planted as well. Ultra compass that, so I actually get a good yield. And I think you can pay potato cactus to protect it. Very nice indeed. God, I'm feeling like a proper account being in here. This is nice. Turns out that the Witchhaven dungeon is just down here and I have to do some kind of puzzle or something to access the hellhounds which are in here. I think it's part of Family Crest, if that rings a bell, but I've not done Family Crest yet. And here is a 72 strength. It feels good to finally be doing some proper combat on this gun. Oh, and 41 Slayer, that's nice. Um, but yeah, we'll, we'll be rattling through the Slayer real quick. I imagine I'll be in the 50s, hopefully 58 by the end of this episode. Another task done. We're at 43 Slayer. Let's see what we can get next. Hellhounds again. That's not too bad, although I've got none of the shortcuts available, so it's a long run round. Um, but let's see what we can get from our two brimstone keys. 125 gold. Is that good? Probably. And coal. Nice, nice, nice. Very nice. And there is level 50 agility. I'm really not minding the training of agility at all doing this method, so I think I'm going to... Uh, gonna just crack on with this for a bit so I had a little bit of an AFK session at the monkey bars and we got past level 50 um, so I will be able to go and get the uh, full rogues outfit now which we can utilize with our thieving level to uh, actually get some gold on this account at some point when we need it can we get our first piece of rogues equipment on the first go probably not oh oh hold on is that decent agility training? 492 agility XP in... I'm going to have to pay attention to how long that took, but that's interesting. A piece of rogues equipment. Yes, please. I guess I'll start with the uh, with the mask. That is very interesting. Okay, so the run took about four minutes, so it's only about 7.5k XP per hour, but that is interesting. Um, I didn't even know that was a, uh, a thing. Um, is the rogues equipment guaranteed now? This seems convenient. <laughs> okay, it took a few attempts, but there is our last piece of rogues equipment. So we're now fully set up to do uh, blackjacking um, and master farmers whenever we like. Uh, so that is pretty nice. So as of right now, uh, the poll uh, to decide what the next skill is, is set at 50-50. Um, so, that means I get the casting decision, and I am choosing woodcutting. The beaver is going to be our next pet. Um, I've chosen that for a whole variety of reasons, most of which I'm going to put on the screen now. Uh, you know, quests and such that are unlocked by having the beaver as our next pet. In theory... As long as I've not made any other mistakes, this should be the last, um, the last pet we have to unlock before we. Where's the fucking axe shop? Is it over here? Um, before I have to unlock, uh, but well, not before I have to. Before we get to corrupted gauntlet, um, and we can. Uh, you know, start on um, getting the Bofa and the Blade of Seldor, which are going to be absolutely massive for all the content we need to do moving forward. So, this is our last skilling pet before we're going to be doing some really, you know, top tier PVM. Um, so, wish me luck. I hope I can get this early. And here goes nothing. There we are. We have rolled for the beaver. This is a this is a big moment. <laughs> oh, when you roll a new pet, knowing you're committing yourself to potentially hundreds of hours, 
it is pretty freaky. Um, but this is going to be... Um, this is going to be the longest one yet, in theory. The Phoenix and the uh, Thieving Pet are all... Uh, are both faster than this. So this is going to be big. I'm not going to do most of my woodcutting here. I've got some teak trees growing that I'm going to uh, chop for the majority of my XP. Um, but yeah, unfortunately we didn't get a Dragon Axe from Wintertard. That would have been a bit of a game changer, but the Rune Axe will have to do, I guess. And there is 52 agility. It's actually like you really fly through the levels here when you just not paying any attention. <laughs> it's really not too bad to be honest. I'm pretty confident I can get 70 here relatively easily. I think it'll probably take a month, but I think it shouldn't be a problem at all. So I'm just doing a bit of mahogany homes, right? And I just realized, so I trained up to 53 agility last night. Um, the quest XP after it got updated is fucking mental. So I need to get 70 agility without training on agility courses, right? So 70 agility from here is about 580,000 XP. Um, if I just pull up real quick the uh, the quest XP rewards uh, page on the wiki, right, and go to agility. So it starts all pretty tame, right? These are the agility XP rewards. Starts pretty tame, 5,000 here, 5,000 there, whatever, a few thousand there, 7,000, 7,000, 7,000, whatever, right? 10,000 for doing that recipe for disaster subquest. That's like an hour of doing the monkey bars, right? Regicide, another hour. Groom tails, two hours. And then we get down to here, right? Morning's end, I've got to do that anyway. 60,000 XP, that's five hours of monkey bars right there. Monkey man is two, got to do that anyway. Another five hours right there, right? Secrets of the North, which I can only do at level 69, but I can basically get level 69 to 70 for free, right? Beneath Cursed Sands, another another uh, 50,000. Dragon Slayer 2, again, I, know I need to do that at some point. Um, so short of the 68 mining requirement, which shouldn't be too bad. Again, another 50,000, which is like another four hours saved. Um, that's mental. And then... The best one of them all is where's the skill the skill choice section, right? So there's not anything too interesting here, you know, a few ten thousands or whatever over fifty um, can do these pretty easily. But look at the state of this Legends Quest, which again I've got to do anyway. Thirty thousand XP four times, and I can put it on agility. So a hundred and twenty thousand XP. That's ten hours. Of monkey bars, and I think I totted all this up. It's over four hundred thousand XP in agility that I get just for doing quests. So, in terms of getting level seventy ready for Song of the Elves, I'm I'm fucking laughing. I've only got to do like fifteen hours of monkey bars, and the rest of it's just going to come from quests. So, that's pretty massive. <laughs> Wild. Sixty-six construction right there. Very nice. Very nice. We need to get to uh, we need to get to seventy. Oh, winning LMS games! It's just what I do. Seven points. So I just did an hour of LMS to see how much money I could generate in comparison to thieving. So we got thirty-two points and I think two wins. So that's not too bad. And what I'm going to buy with that is rune arrows and then sell them to a shop, um, and see how much money I made basically. Okay, so we're starting at 70, basically 75k. Let's see where we get by selling 3,000 rune arrows to our main. So I sell them like that, and then I'm just going to... Oh, Why can't I see that on my main? I thought I'd be able to see that. Oh, is it because it's a main account and not an iron account? Are they split stores? Maybe. Okay, there's construction work going on outside, so sorry if you can hear that. But I found one that works, which is the uh, which is the general store in Hosidius. So here we go. We sell, we buy ten on the main, sell them on the iron. There we go, like that. So that's pretty easy. So we're right at the end of our rune arrows, and yeah, we made like 420k, uh, which is nuts. 
So, yeah, that's way better than blackjacking. Blackjacking was about 170k per hour. It's about 420k per hour, so it's night and day, really. And I'll definitely be doing last man standing for GP from now on. And there is 70 construction. We can now uh, boost to put the spirit tree in our house, uh, which I may or may not do next. Okay, I'm 90... 9% sure that it's orange spice for construction. Let's see if we can get the boost. No, we lost a load of crafting now. God, that is a loud sound outside. The builders are going crazy. Right, can we get it here? Down five, brilliant. These are the only orange spice I have, so if I can't get it from these. What? You are fucking kidding me. What the fuck does a restore potion do then? Oh my god. Oh, 74. That's so lame. Right, can we get it on the last one? Probably not. Unaffected. Lame. Okay, we're going to have to get more orange spice. Right, and here we are turning in family crest, which is useful for... Um, for well I need it for legends quest um, but also I can now get the goldsmithing gauntlets and get 50 smithing which I also need for legends quest time to make Elvarg look like a fucking joke here we go can we kill it with just the DDS not a great start oh come on big hits never lucky but Elvarg hits kind of hard bro but I hit harder. Wow. I, I did. I did hit harder. There we go. And there we are turning in Dragon Slayer. Now I've got Fight Toss already, so I don't need a Rune Plate body. But big quest done. And I think we can start Heroes now. Um, I don't think I will. I think I'm going to do big chompy bird hunting. But yeah, all the requirements are Heroes done. And there they are, the whole reason why we have to get the beaver pet Atchi tree over there. 130 hour grind thanks to these guys. <laughs> Crazy. Crazy so much of the game's locked behind this quest. And there is big chompy bird hunting done. What a low level quest with such massive implications. And here we are with our guidance cake. This is another piece of recipe for disaster done. That should get us mithril gloves, and I think the others are a bit more difficult, and we need a uh, legends quest for them, um, or uh, seven uh, monkey madness seventy cook in that one. Um, but yeah, that's uh, the easy part. Recipe for disaster. Done. So upon watching a Hebochion video uh, recently. Uh, I've now learned that the one of the closest teleports to a fairy ring is actually the salve graveyard teleport But to uh, use it I need 60% Arceus favor and um, so I thought I would use uh, You know use the library to get it. I think it's the at least it's the best way I've got this book three times in a row. Um, I think it's the best way for me because um I uh, I need magic XP still because I don't have Ice Barrage unlocked yet for um for Slayer. Um so actually getting some free magic XP here is quite useful. And there is 66 magic. And hopefully this is gonna be the 60% favour here. Of course it's not. <laughs> oh well. Uh last book to get. Um and then we'll go and make the Salve Graveyard teleport in our house. I absolutely love opening seed packs or oh you can take all that's mental I did not know that I thought you start to spam them wow that's cool that's so cool so we're doing a bit of immoral Iron Man activity here which is I need 10 stamina potions for the stamina pool in my um in my POH um, and I feel like uh, I can't obviously um, get actual stamina potions um, so what we're gonna do is uh, get get them from this because I won't be able to actually use stamina potions a lot but I'll be able to get the pool and that'll be useful um, this costs 60 mil which I don't think is too bad uh, for 10 stamina potions and all I have to do apparently is stand back here and 
avoid getting hit by blood, which shouldn't be too bad. Um, so yeah, definitely a, a cool way to do it, and I'll hopefully be back in an hour with a proper pool. Oh, and crucially, this doesn't impact my uh, pet rolling rules because we're not going to be going to the end of uh, end of Theatre of Blood and opening the chest, and it's only opening the chest which gives you a pet roll. Um, so this is kind of fine because there's no pet roll. So I can do the Theatre of Blood up to a point, um, which is quite handy because I'm not actually going to be getting any theatre kill count. So, yeah, this is fair game. Okay, this is what we did it for. Let's have a look in the chest. Oh, look at that, nine points, and we can buy one stamina. That's pretty cool. And then I can just get, I guess, brews with the rest, because I can nearly make super stores. Uh, cool. Right, this should be the last one. Thanks to Zeon and Pint Lad for the ten staminas. Uh, but yeah, that was uh, quite enjoyable. I got to kick back and relax for about an hour and 20 minutes. And I've got a stand pool in my house, so I don't have to keep blasting through rings of dueling like nothing else. So we got our 10 staminas, and we got 22 brews and 6 sharks alongside it, which is actually a nice little uh, brucey bonus from that. Now, actually, the main issue we're going to have with the stand pool, to be fair, is. I need a thousand soul runes, and that is actually quite a lot of cash that I don't have. I think that's at least 300k. Um, and I've got 12k. <laughs> so, not great. Right, big moment for the account here. Building the pool space, restoration pool, got the thousand soul runes. Uh, I don't know what this one does. Not very much, I don't think. But crucially, we can upgrade it with the stamina potion. So now we can come here to restore our run rather than going to Ferret's Enclave every time. And I've blasted through over 100 rings of dueling purely for run energy during like farm runs and stuff. So that's going to be big. Um, also, this is actually only two levels away, and that'll be pretty good as well. Um, if I can get 72 construction, I've got the prayer potion so I can build that. That's no problem. Um, and then this one's also pretty easy as well. And then only really this one's difficult with the anti-venoms. Um, but yeah, there is the stamina pool. Drink that. 100 run. Oh, that's going to be so good to have. Okay, it's finally time to do the hero's quest, uh, which I don't need anything specific from. Um, oh, damn it. Water runes. Um, but it would be pretty handy to uh, do as I need to do the Legends quest for a shit ton of agility XP. Okay, so here we are at what I thought was going to be a controversial uh, moment for this account. But if we pull up the rates for the Heron, the Lava Eel doesn't roll the Heron pet at all. Um, Infernal Eels do, um, and Sacred Eels do, but not the Lava Eels. Okay, obviously no uh, no mining pet given for mining this rock slide, uh, which is a good thing. And on to kill the Ice Queen. Time to get a fat stack of XP and a load of different skills. Uh, go on, there we go, 29k XP, pretty cool. And access to the heroes go, shall I buy a dragon battle axe? I'm going to see how much it is. Oh, hello, Phoebe. Right, time for the account most... Uh, time for the account? Time for the quest that most accounts dread. The Underground Pass. And we're doing it only 53 agility, which I don't think is too bad, but also isn't great. Um, let's see how long it takes us. 24 minutes on the clock on the in-game timer down there. Let's see how long this takes. Okay, it took about 45 minutes. I probably, I went kind of AFK for maybe 5 to 10 minutes as well. So only really a 35 to 40 minute quest. Which, for the rep it's got, you'd think it'd be a lot worse than that. Um, but I believe that that is all the requirements for the Legends quest. So let's get on with that one if we can. This might be the worst thing, the worst, least fun thing that's ever happened. I had to have level 42 prayer to get my bowl blessed, and I was down on 41 prayer points. Fucking brilliant. Thanks, guys. <laughs> Why can't I just do it anyway? It knows I've got... Um, it knows I've got 45. 
So why is it fa what, 45? 44? Why is it faffing? Why is it faffing? I'll tell you, if this doesn't drain 42 prayer points, I'm going to hit the roof. It doesn't! As if it takes it from that. Say so what, you can boost for that? With prayer? That's just bizarre. It's dinner time. It's dinner time, is it? Yeah. Okay. I'll come and have dinner then. Mmm. I didn't bring any food with me. <laughs> and I'm on 24 hit points. <laughs> Hopefully I don't die doing the rest of this quest. I'm hoping one tick flicking tech melee will be enough to get me through. But I don't really remember the rest of the quest. Right, and that is Legends Quest done. I believe I should get some pretty serious XP lamps off this guy. Um, oh, no, I need to go in here. Okay, let's go, let's go. So what legend he is with his rune plate body and rune shield. Yes, I'll train now. Okay. So I believe I can use this XP on agility. Oh, that's just disgusting. And I think I get... That's my baby having a little bit of a shout. Still having a little bit of a shout. She's alright. Right, let's, uh, let's finish the training quickly. And then I'll go check if she's alright. Oh, I can see my... I can see Kate's got her. Don't worry. Don't worry. Right, agility again. 57. Okay. I'll continue my training, yep. Yeah. I'm so stressed I'm going to click the wrong skill. Agility again. 58. I don't think we're quite going to get to 60, but it's going to be close. Uh, yes, I will train now. And agility again for 120,000 agility XP. That is insane. Look at that. 3k till 60 as well. Huge. Time and time again, the Wintertide grind comes back to help me in various ways. I believe to get limestone, I'd have to mine that and therefore do the uh, get the mining pet for um, to finish Regicide. But I've got 364 of them from Wintertide, which is a lifesaver. Oh, right, starting Regicide, really in the mood to get these big quests out of the way at the moment. I think I need to go through the Underground Pass twice in this quest, so I guess those extra agility levels from uh, Legends Quest will come in handy, right? This has got to be the most miserable shortcut to fall down ever. What is this? It's like about a minute, a minute of running around here to get out of a failing, like, oh, God. Why do they do this? It's a good quest to be fair, like overall. Like I like the underground pass overall, but what the hell is this? This is crazy, bro. Oh my god, and it puts you all the way back here. You are joking. That's wild. That is wild. Okay, right. There's Regicide done. I believe we should be getting 60 agility from this. Indeed we are. Ah, that's going to be good. That means we can we no longer ha have to do the underground pass to get into the elven lands. Um, I probably should do the roving elves quest, shouldn't I? That would probably be a good deed. Uh, let's see. Do I need anything? I do not need anything. And it's short, so that should be good. Sorry, what the fuck does this hit with? It seems to hit me with both melee and mage or something. What the fuck? I'm so fucking confused. It's a Moss Guardian. What the hell does it hit with? Oh my god. So it hits with both. Hopefully I can bring food in here. Surely I can bring food in there. Right. Take two. Let's, uh, let's hope we have more luck this time. Which means just like kill it now without taking any damage or some bollocks. What did I fucking say? N not eating any food and one two hit points down. Brilliant. So I could have just stood there and let Oh my god. These quests are absolutely trolling me today. Terrible. Right, return the seed to Elenud. 
Okay, uh, just plant this in here somewhere. Okay, and now I go back to the elves to finish. And here we are to finish the quest. Let's hand it in. Right. Uh, which one? Which one should I pick? Uh, I feel like the bow is probably better for us overall. It has actually got some uses, uh, whereas I feel like the shield is only really useful for like tanking stuff, which no one does anymore. Even at like things like bandos, it's totally useless these days. Oh, what am I ready for? Start morning's end part one. Why not? Okay, so I think I've just unlocked another uh, another tree fruit tree patch. That's handy, although not for very long. But I'll I'll plant one. <laughs> Why not? One right. One thing I can do here, which I believe is useful, is this woman. I think sells a load of dyes. Yes, she does. So if I just buy, you know, a handful of each one, um. That will help us with a lot of quests we've got coming. I remember that one with the, is that one with the ships? Um, I don't remember which one that is. Uh, these ones are probably the least useful, aren't they? Um, the one with the ships where you got to like dye the sails or whatever, and you need like a million dyes to do it. Um, and I think you need them in Morning's End Part One as well. So, yeah, useful to pick some of these up whilst I'm here. Can we get the bottomless bucket on number 12? Of course not, but we got 15 more white lily seeds, which is actually useful to us. Uh, 12kc though, we're really kind of getting through it quite quick. Um, if I can keep doing one a day, which I'm doing in a minute, we'll have the bottomless bucket relatively soon, and that is such a game-changing item, it really is. Okay, this should be a big moment for the account. 85 farming and not having to boost to come here anymore is going to be massive. Um, it's so annoying having to remember my garden pie every single time I want to come here. But I'm going to stop doing tree runs now, I think. I think that'll be a, a daily routine that I can uh, stop doing. I don't think it's really worth it once you get 85. Um, maybe I'll do like just dragon, tr dragon fruit trees and magic seeds. Um, but I think it's better, like, I'm going to get a decent amount of trees just from that, that, and that, and eventually that, that I'll keep going through the levels relatively quickly. But yeah, 85 bombing on the, uh, on the, uh, extreme one pet at a time account. Fun times. Right, and with that level that's been sat there, 1k XP off for ages, we are now 1500 total on the extreme one pet at a time account. Um, I think that's probably a good place to finish for this week. Um, made some very decent progress, particularly in the quests. Getting a Legends quest done is huge. We got about, you know, 10 hours of agility done for free by doing Legends quest. Um, and the stats are looking pretty good. Um, so in terms of the Song of the Elves uh, goal that we're kind of working towards at the moment, um, we only really need to do the Morning's End uh quests part one and two which is easy making history easy we then need to get 70 agility uh which again isn't too bad with all the quest rewards 70 herbloid probably got about 65 or so banked at the minute so i just need to keep up on that uh mining i've been doing that in the background um uh and i'm now up to 65 so we might be pretty close to 70 by the end of the next episode and the 70 smithing which is basically just a money sink um, so I just need to get some more gold to do that, uh, but that should come with the Slayer, which we're going to kind of crack on with next episode. Um, so in terms of the goals that we're trying to do at the minute, there's a few in tandem. So we need to get the beaver pet before we can start on the young left pet, so that has to be done at some point. Um, but I'd say that's probably lowest priority, and the main thing to do is get our combat levels up, so our strength, our mage in particular bit of range and get our Slayer up to hopefully 69 uh, for Monkey Madness 2 because uh, Monkey Madness 2 is going to be one of the ways that we uh, are training our agility. So yeah, we're finishing off at 1500 total. Progress is really flying by and I'm anticipating being at the Corrupted Gauntlet 
in a few weeks maybe. Um, I think that, that, that that's a realistic goal that we can do depending on our luck with the beaver pet. Um, but yeah, the Desert Treasure 2 rewards beta has just been released again. Um, so what that means is I need to get a Bofa, the Young Luff, and the Blade of Seldor done, ticked off, pet done, uh, ahead of the Desert Treasure 2 release because I think I'm going to need to be doing that in a major way to get access to the proper prayer book because, as discussed previously, rigor and augury are off the cards. Um, so, yeah, thanks for watching. I'm pretty sure this has been a long video. I've not got a timer, but I reckon it's probably been about 37 or 37 ish minutes. Um, so, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you next time.